Here's the uh, oil filter cap, 24 millimeter by the way. There's the seal right in there. It's a rubber seal. It comes with every oil filter. That's the inside. This is the oil filter that comes with it. It's got that pointy thing on it. You got the right one for 2014 and above. They had some problem with the bypass valve. The bypass valve now is right there. When I first did it, um, it was in. I first changed my oil. I pulled it out crooked and broke that off in there. And I thought, what the fuck? So what I had to do, I had to go to, well, the bad thing is I had to drive a fucking ricer to the Dodge Garage and buy one of these. About 14 bucks, 13 bucks. Then I bought a bunch of them on Amazon just to have some, you know, so I don't need to run anymore. I've never broke another one, but main thing is that you, you put this in. When you pull up the old one, pull it out very straight. It won't break it off, but, I mean, the car had 30,000 miles on it, so who knows. Anyway, so um, pull it out straight. It should be okay. Then when you put it back in, just, that's it. Okay, when you pull it out, that's it. So just real simple. Pull it out easy. So if you break that and you force this son of a bean in there, you're going to fuck up your motor. So that's got to be perfect. So it's just good preventative maintenance. I'd change the sucker ever, at least every 50,000 miles. Mine broke it. It's just plastic. Fuck. Um, I had the original equipment in there. Mopar. Um, just change it at 30,000, 40,000 miles and you'd be good. No problem. Make sure you put the seal back right there where it's supposed to be. So little hole for it that comes with the oil filters. I use the, I use Mopar filters like this, but I'll tell you, K&N's okay. It's just K&N when they come out, they seem like pretty crinkled. I don't know, sort of stressed. Maybe I'm putting them in too tight, I don't know. But uh, when I do Mopar, they're not, so you can see the inside's plastic. It's, these filters don't fall apart, they're pretty good. I, I don't, I change my oil very frequently, I'm embarrassed to tell you how much, because the damn Democrats get after me, but... Um, um, I, I do a lot of short distance driving. I used to do a lot of long distance, then I changed my oil at 5,000 or 3. But now I just drive short distances, you know, 5 miles and that barely gets the car warm, you know. So I, even though I live in a warm climate, it's warm year round, um, I change it every 1,000 miles. And I use uh, Pennzoil Ultra Premium or Ultra Titanium or whatever it is, Ultra. Uh, it's the Ultra on yellow bottle. Um, it's the actual oil that you'd buy at uh, the Mopar garage. So, Penn's oil, Ultra, whatever. So, you can buy the regular oil at Walmart, but uh, the Ultra you have to buy, like on Amazon or something. I think you can buy it at Walmart.com. Uh, you can find it on sale for five quarts for 20 bucks. Uh, the stuff that goes in the Hellcat and the high end. Like the six fours and six one six twos, Hemi's. Those are they take zero W forty, and that's what I'm tempted to try in my car. I, I know a lot of people tell you not to, but that's what the Europeans use in their Beamers and stuff. So I don't know. It's a European formula, and Mobile One does make a, a zero W forty. So does the Penzo. It's just very very expensive. So I have a few friends that are using uh, the zero W forty. Um, in their 3.6, and damn, that car runs good. I mean, it just runs good. I got one kid, he he doesn't even have a flex fuel car, and he even runs E85 in the fucker, so who knows. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. You know, um, use a good filter, don't use any junk. Change this sucker every 30, 40, 50,000 miles, and you'll be good. You don't want to screw up your motor, man. Those motors are a lot of money.